create cost accounting distributions. So now that we have transferred or interfaced the inventory material transactions from inventory to costing, it's time to create or cost them. So costing in other words means that it creates costing distributions. So let's go back to Oracle Financial Cloud and I'm going to go and switch into cost management and then I'm going to schedule this process called as create cost accounting distributions which will create distributions. All right, so I'm going to close this form and then I'm going to go to tools and then schedule processes. And then I'm going to schedule a new process. That's the one I was looking for, create cost accounting distributions. Hit the OK button. And then here you give the run control. And in this case, you've got to choose the organization for US operations. Hit the OK button. And then you hit the submit button. Then hit the OK button again and let's refresh this screen you see presently it is running so depending on the number of transactions that have to be processed it may take uh, longer So I'm going to pause for some time and then come back once it gets finished. All right, so as you could see, the cost accounting distribution create process is uh, completed in warning. And uh, I reviewed the output file and I see that the warning is because of uh, the reason that certain GL accounting and transaction periods are closed for certain transactions that are still lying here okay and they are older period so you don't have to worry about it but I believe our transactions have been distributed and this is purely for uh, generating the cost accounting distributions so I'm gonna go back to cost accounting very quickly and I'm gonna show you how you can distribute or how you can view the distributed transactions so look at cost accounting and then if you go from the task menu to review cost account distributions and then you select the cost organization so in this case uh, it's US operations and I'm gonna leave the date on or after uh, 28th of February 2021 okay and hit the search button and all the transactions that we have created in inventory the miscellaneous issue and miscellaneous receipt transactions will be displayed over here as distributed so you see these transactions have been distributed but not yet accounted you can see that status accounting status is not accounted so we have got to run another program called as create accounting program to account for these transactions okay so I'm gonna go and hit the done button now and then I'm gonna go back to the tools schedule processes and then schedule a new process and run create accounting program I believe that's the one and then I'm gonna hit the OK button 
again hit OK button and here you see the subledger application is cost management chosen by default you can change it if you like and choose the ledger so US primary ledger and date is today's date accounting mode final and report style summary you can make it to detail as well if you like but I'm gonna leave it and transfer to GL post to GL yes and I'm gonna leave all the other details as it is and you can give the general batch name over here if you like something like uh, 72 or 07032021 starting with this thing and then hit the submit button Again, hit the OK button and then you refresh it so you see this process is running now it can complete any time So you see the cost accounting process has spawned certain child processes such as create accounting sub process and post sub ledger journal entries. Now they are as well waiting for the next step so they are going to be run. All of them are running. As you could see now another program import journals child has spawned automatically so a total of uh, th three sub processes for create accounting post sub ledger journal entries post sub ledger journal entries sub process and then import journals child so let's view at this import journals child process I'm gonna open the output file like this and if I expand that I would see the cost accounting total lines 52 two batches and total header 4 and as you could see the batch name is this one starting with this this is what we have given in the parameters is it not so we'll go back and check the batch name in the GL accounting in a while okay so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna cancel this and then I'm gonna refresh it again hopefully the other processes would have completed as well you see this is successfully completed as well and if I look at this one okay that's what it was right and the post journal process also got spawned and successfully completed so we'll have a look at that one as well so it has posted the two batches under this period March 2021 and January 2021 okay and you can also review the other ones post sub ledger journal entry sub process so it's just got uh, a log file nothing much there it's a big process right so it is uh, simply calling a number of uh, package procedures in the background so I'm gonna leave that to you to explore it and the create accounting sub process which is also got a log file so the main ones are these ones 
post sub ledger journal entries and import journal ledgers. You can also view the create accounting process that we ran for creating the accounting for costed distributions. Right, so it's uh, nothing functional over here, but if there were any error, then you could explore the log file. So I'm going to close that and leave it to you to explore it. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch and go back to cost management. And then I'm going to go to the task manager. And from here, I'm going to go into review cost accounting distributions. If you recall a little while ago, we checked and our transactions were not accounted, but this time all those transactions will be hopefully accounted. So we choose the US operations as the cost organization and hit the search button. You see the transaction date is on or after 28 Feb 2021. So only a few transactions will be listed. And as you could see, the accounting status is now fully accounted and it has got all the inventory transactions that we have done it. So you see, it's, the transaction type is also listed over here. These are all the uh, transactions that we have created. Here it is showing the costing details, the costed date, the costed profile, and valuation structure code, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to leave it to you to explore this one further if you like. So, basically, this is the process from uh, your inventory creation. Then the next step was transfer uh, the inventory transactions to costing. Then the next step was to distribute those costing transactions. And then last step was to create accounting for those uh, costed transactions. And then after the accounting was created, they were transferred to the channel ledger. Now before we end, I'm going to also go and log in into channel ledger to see whether we can review the journals that were created and posted. So I hope this uh, has got journal accounting as uh, one of the responsibilities. Oh, unfortunately it doesn't have it. But never mind, I'm going to log in quickly as another user and uh, say financial implementer and then I will try to see whether we can view those batches. So I'm going to log out. Okay, and from here I'm going to go into the journal accounting here and then I'm going to go to journal accounting dashboard. In fact, I should have gone to journals instead of the dashboard, but let it load. Okay, that was the general accounting dashboard, but uh, from here, let's see if we could uh, see manage journals. And let's see if we, I could filter it out. Let's see, the batch starts with uh, Oh, 
seven two three two zero two one then percentage hit the search button okay we have got to also clear the accounting period If I clear this off and give the accounting period as this one, let's see how it goes. Oh, that's that's where it is. Okay, so the way it has uh, given the journal batch name is slightly different. Okay, never mind. So those were the two cost accounting journal batches that were created. So I'm going to open the first one, this one for miscellaneous transactions and you see the batch status is posted and here you can uh, see other details you see the source is cost accounting and uh, this is the name of the journal in description that has been given automatically I think this comes from the request ID and here are the journals you can review it okay let's say one of the journals right let's see if you could drill down further so here it gives me more details about this transaction so the cost organization is us operations inventory org is 001 cost book is financial this was the item 16 gig of uh, ram and we have received 21 quantities and it has gone into completed sub inventory and uh, the legal entity associated with this is us1 legal entity you can also view the transaction right from here all right so that was the inventory transaction which is costed and accounted now and you can see the details right here so everything is connected and that's what is the beauty of uh, Oracle Fusion ERP that it connects the dot for your entire end-to-end -end operations all right so that was the flow right from uh, inventory um, to costing to certain lecture for material transactions mm -hmm. Thank you.